everyone, and welcome to my Drawer Ragslin fight tutorial. I'm going to be fighting him on Tactician this time. I would do Honor Mode, but I am currently not at this point in my new Honor Mode run. So we're just going to pick up from one of my Tactician playthroughs, and I'll show you how to, how to complete this fight. Now, there's a lot of uh, discussion in the community where a lot of people struggle with this fight in particular in Act 1. It's very difficult. Uh, for a lot of people, so hopefully I can show you uh, some ways around it that will make it a little bit easier for, for you to fight through. Uh, and real quick, we're going to run through my party setup. Now, this isn't really that important. Like, you don't have to copy my, uh, my characters or what I have done to them or have any particular kind of setup. Really what I like recommend is just having a nice balanced party. Uh, you really don't even need a, a wizard or a sorcerer. My main character just happens to be a sorcerer. Uh, so I have one in the party, but normally in act one, I don't do any wizard or sorcerers because they're fairly weak until they hit level five. Um, so, but I have one in this case, so usually that makes it a little bit more difficult for me, so we'll see how I do. Um, and what normally makes this fight pretty difficult for people is that Dwarf Raglan is level 5 already. And what I think happens a lot of times is that people rush into this fight, they continue the, the quest line pretty linearly, and they're not that... Uh, like powerful yet or leveled up right now. I am only level four You could very easily do this fight at level five There is plenty of content in act one to get you to at least level five before you have to even touch any of the goblin stuff But anyway with that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and go over my party setup So like I said earlier, I am running a sorcerer. I am a fire sorcerer. I have shadow heart as a war cleric will as his normal as his normal warlock self the pact of the fiend and karlak is a normal berserker bar bar barbarian uh and just to go over the the setup really quick nothing too crazy on my character right here uh shadow heart is a war cleric so she can wield any uh martial weapon <coughs> oh sorry about that that is my puppy go lay down sweetheart and uh, she can wear any kind of armor since she's a war cleric. So I bought this chainmail plus one from uh, one of the vendors in the goblin camp. Uh, I forget if it's one of the, the merchants that has all the exploding barrels and stuff. The Zentarium trader, the halfling. So if you go to her, she will have this. This is a fantastic upgrade for anybody who wears heavy armor. So if instead of Karlak, you have like Lazelle or something, slap this on her and it will do wonders for the AC. Will just has the spider silk armor, which I had already defeated uh, Minthara. So I put that on him. But if you hadn't defeated Minthara yet, like if you went straight for Draglin, you could buy any uh, plus one... Like, padded armor is really good because it gives minus one to slashing damage, I believe. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know that the plus one that you can buy from the same trader that you got the heavy armor from, it does do a minus one to some type of uh, attack form. Uh, and then for him, since he is, I made him Pact of the Blade, I gave him the Steel Forge Sword, which is a plus one weapon. And a shield to boost that AC a little bit. Shields are super nice, especially uh, if you're newer to the game. This is your first run through. That plus two AC is nothing to scoff at. You don't always have to go for straight DPS. Um, you could do that on a second or third run when you learn all the mechanics. And then for Karlak, I just gave her the Bracers of Defense. Since as a Barbarian, I never put armor on my Barbarians. I just give them the Bracers of Defense, gives them that nice extra plus two bonus, and the Sword of Justice that I got from the Paladins earlier. Uh, it's just a nice weapon, I really like it, uh, especially with the Tears Protection. Uh, if I choose not to rage for whatever reason, like reason, that Tears Protection lasts until long rest, and it's really nice. Uh, then, what do I have here? 
Oh, yeah, and then the moon drop pendant, which is nice. Uh, gear isn't super duper important at, at this stage of the game. Just make sure that you uh, are reasonable in equipping your characters, right? Uh, so the, the things that they are proficient in, uh, anything that boosts AC is fantastic at this level. And then I, ha I gave everybody a... Uh, potion of speed so everybody has potions of speed which you could buy from several traders in act one uh, you find plenty of stuff to sell in the game to get you a couple potions of speed and you'll find several of them throughout containers hopefully if rng is on your side um but that's really it you don't even really like need this but we'll probably use it in this fight just to just to show you uh and with that out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and step in here go through this little cinematic here and See you after the cut. Okay. Uh, back from the cut. And this is the very first turn of the game. So we'll see what's going on here. So there's two different ways that you can kind of approach this, right? These characters or these NPCs right here are super weak. So you could take these out really quick, right? With a simple AoE attack like uh, uh, the arms of Hadar or whatever that's called. Yeah, the arms of Hadar should take them out in one attack. Uh, or if you have Shatter on a wizard or something like that. Um, never easy. Like, uh, so those should go down in one or two hits. Hopefully one if you're lucky. Uh, and then these guys are a bit beefier. Right? Uh, so you can approach this in another way where instead of just busting through the front door you can go around and up into the rafters but this guy right here has a nasty ability a repulsor which i didn't know about until i was on my uh, honor mode run and i had snuck up there and he repulsed all my party members luckily only one fell to, to their death but um that is something to be aware of and i think it's just a bit easier to just face them head on uh now these guys are really strong so like i was saying earlier you could either take them out and then focus on him or focus on him and then deal with everybody else right so what i like to do uh if i get everything going my way is to take these little guys out first and take out the the booyag guy here so this guy will cast bless on people. He'll cast some nasty spells on you. It's just overall like a real nuisance and just a real pain in the butt to deal with. So we don't really want to do all that. So I am going to just go ahead and focus this guy down and have Will come over here and do the arms of Hadar. See if he can get some stuff done. Oh, and I didn't really prep for this at all because I should have cast that and then would have been fine. Oh, yeah, you might want to close these doors because uh, people will join the fight <laughs> if they if they walk by. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and try. Where is my there we go. Okay, well, I only got one of them, uh, but we're going to go ahead and burn a potion of speed. I'm going to go ahead and attack him. Nice. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move him up here to protect him a bit because he is a warlock, a little weak. And you, what are we going to do here? We don't need to do that. Um... I think we're going to do this for this fight. I'm going to go ahead and cast Scorching Ray. Nice. And... I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see. I'm going to do another one of these. And I'm just going to burst this guy down. have enough movement so that could be kind of bad Let's see we're gonna go ahead next to will over here all right now i got unfortunate with the initiative order so all these guys are gonna get to go and get their hits in okay 
Oh yeah, like this guy's uh and like nasty too. We're gonna get rid of that guy. So, uh, and what's cool is if you have a strength-based character, these goblins you can throw them all. You can throw throw them all, and it's usually very successful. At least in in my uh in my experience, very successful. We're, we're gonna go ahead and rage so that way she gets that resistance. Okay, and I can't throw, uh, or at least I can't do an enraged throw, but what I can do is pick this guy up and then I'm just gonna toss him down there. There we go. Easy peasy. Um, Shadowheart might get screwed by this guy, but it's okay. So he shouldn't be able to reach us right which is good we don't want him to get free hits on us we're gonna go there i'm gonna take shadow heart over here summon let me see i like doing the great sword i think that should be good and then bless right, so i bless that bless that and yeah yeah. And then maybe next turn I'll turn on the potions of speed. Oh, the warlock's also really, really annoying too. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um. So yeah, I I forget which one of these. If it's the devout, I I don't remember which ones can cast hold person on you. But you want to take out these spellcasters super quick, just because, like I said earlier, they could do some nasty stuff. And hold person can absolutely ruin your playthrough. And do a lacerate. Nice. Okay, he saved it, which is okay. Grunt. Nice. Okay. Um. Let's see. Now what do we want to do? So I could try to push him in there. That could be kind of nasty. Um, but. Um. Hold on. I kind of forget what this does. This is my, my first playthrough with a sorcerer, by the way. So I'm not, uh too super savvy on <laughs> the sorcerer mechanics and stuff so forgive me a second as I read here okay um could do that it actually be really nice but I think I want to go ahead and burn this I'm going to do potion of speed scorching ray nice uh, and then Go ahead and cast that. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go up a little bit more. This is my time. All right. This is your time. Very good. Ooh. Okay, so I would love to. Hex and everything, hex and attack, but well, you know what? I, I I still can, so I'm gonna go ahead and hex his constitution. And then Eldrick blast this guy and hopefully he'll die. No, critical miss. Oh I forgot I'm all sped up. Sweet. There we go. I got that. Eight hit points of temporary hit points I don't know what I just said but I hope it made sense <laughs> all right Carlac and you know what we're gonna try to do the same thing where's my there we go enraged throw and then 
we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Beautiful, look at all that damage. And look at that, 91%. Let's go. Beautiful. Okay. Shadowheart, what are you gonna do? Let's see. You can always try that. Let's see. If we can get him to drop his stuff. Nice! Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and keep her back here. Oh my lord! I honestly didn't expect him to move that far. <laughs> um... That's okay. I'm gonna go there. Too bad they're not phase spiders, huh? That, that'd be kind of nice. Alright, so... This guy is gonna... Provoke an attack of opportunity on me. So let's see if I can get him... Into the fire. Nice! Okay. That worked out well. And we are gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Come on. No, no, no. Have to Look here. Going. Um. Be really nice, huh? Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go back. Try not to die. The blade will not bend. Um. What are we gonna do? Nice damage. Do it again. Nice. All right. Um, and you know what? We're gonna. We're just gonna go like that. And let's go ahead and enrage throw. I'm gonna throw a javelin at him. Nice. Look at that. And he's down for the count. Oh. See what I was talking about? <laughs> well, that sucks. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do another throw. Since I'm here. Nice. Okay. Let's finish this. Indeed, let's finish this. Um. Oh my gosh, I hate the 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 door. The door bug. That's still ever present. <sighs> Come on, Larian. Right. Gonna go there. And you. Let's see. I was expecting this fight to be over already. That's why I burned through all my stuff. But um, let's see if I can. Yeah, no, see? Alright. <laughs> We're just gonna do that. Sweet. Alright, thank you. That helps. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, she's just gonna move up. And do another frenzy throw with another javelin. Oh, for real? I'm gonna lose my enrage. Oh, this sucks. Let me see, I don't think I have... I do have a bomb, huh? Yeah, I could do that. Let's see, throw. And... Oh. Okay. That'll work. 
Uh, I don't want to get pushed. So, I'm just going to do that. Eight damage. Good job, Shadowheart. Okay. Yep. Lost my turn because I'm lethargic. Alright. Will, what are you gonna do? Oh my lord, there is another one. <laughs> it's gonna fight the whole camp, huh? Okay. Uh, I don't have any... Fortunate. I'm gonna go ahead and reapply it because it, it's free to reapply. And I'm gonna... There we go. want to okay. and what are we gonna do here Lord I hate that bug so much uh whatever I'm gonna hit him and since I'm a war cleric we'll just attack him again nice And I'm just gonna charge out here. Critical miss. Okay. Sure. Gonna run in here. Nice. Wait, but I. Hold on. I saved. Oh, the concentration throw. I'm silly. Okay. Let's see. Um. Nice. Okay. Doesn't matter. Alright, and you will throw another thing, because why not? Another javelin. Oh, I can't! Okay. That'll work, I guess. I mean, I... The door! The door is gonna kill me! I hate you. Okay. You... I don't know why I uh, jumped, but... Nice. Alright, Will. Just go beat him up. Oh, he can't. All right. And do that. There we go. Good job, Will. All right. And that's how you do it, guys. Uh, it was took a little bit longer than I wanted to, just because of all the reinforcements. Um. But in general, you could just brute force this fight. Uh, just make smart decisions when you are equipping your characters. Just making sure that everything makes sense. And um, and choose what, what you want to do. Do you want to focus all the guys? Do you want to um, focus on the main like leader? And remember, if you have a strength-based character, you can throw all the goblins. Anybody can throw the goblins, uh, but it's a little bit easier if you have high strength. You just throw them down there to the spiders. Uh, now, if you do that with Dror Ragslin, uh, it was in a patch note. I haven't tested it since, but he can he brings them over to his side. But 
Um, I haven't actually like tested that, so I don't know how, how that works. But, um, yep, so you just go in here and smart targeting of of the goblins of, of your enemies. You want to, like I said earlier, you want to take out the spellcasters. So that way they don't cast hold person on you and other little nasty spells like hex and everything. Because you don't want hex to be applied to you, then you're failing saving throws more often. And Dror Ragslin, you really want to take him out too because he has that leadership aura. And he has a lot of stuff that can really buff his uh his teammates so anyway i hope that that was helpful and hopefully you all are able to beat this guy on your tactician and honor mode runs good luck see you all in the next video